We are Group 24, and this is Sucks.Berkeley, an application to take error reports and turn them into useful user stories on Pivotal Tracker. Our app has two main user types, frustrated users who enter and report issues, and developers who want to solve these issues. Here I am on the Sucks.Berkeley homepage where I can enter an issue. Once I enter an issue, I'll be taken to the Issue Index page where I can view issues that have been added to the Pivotal Tracker, issues that have been reported on User Voice, or submit a completely new issue. If I select the existing issue, I'm taken to the Issue Information page, where I can view the progress on the project, which is updated as the Pivotal Tracker project is updated. I can vote that this issue affects me. I can request to be added as a developer on the project and I can add comments, as you can see here. Back on the issue index page, if I select the issue that has been reported on user voice, I'm taken to a page where, based on the user voice report, I can develop a user story for that issue. at which point I will be taken to a new issue info page for the issue I have just added. And finally, on the issue index page, if I select the submit new issue button, I will be taken to another page where I can develop a user story that is not linked to a user voice issue. As a developer, I can view a list of all projects in the system. And selecting a specific project, I can view all issues that have been added for that project. On the specific issue info page, I can add a comment and enter my developer code, which is the Pivotal Tracker ID, which will mark the comment as from a developer. 